Hey everybody, welcome back. So despite YouTube's uh, best recommendations, I'm still continuing to make snowmobiling building videos during the summer and YouTube hates it because it doesn't know how to market YouTube videos during the summer. So regardless, we're doing it anyway. We are soldiering on. Um, so uh, we're working on this 1996 Formula SLS. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we picked this thing up about three weeks ago and it had a bad engine. So what we've done is we went ahead and pulled the engine out. And uh, here is the original uh, 96 uh, 500. Um, and uh, this thing is completely hosed. Um, the bearings on it are completely seized. Pretty sure the uh, <clears throat> the cylinders are still good. So we're gonna try to salvage those. But at some point, what we'll do is we'll do an autopsy on it. We'll do a, a complete teardown on it and figure out exactly what's going on. There's any chance of saving this, but based on my initial uh, thoughts, and uh, what I'm seeing, I'm 99% I'm sure the crank in there is gonna be uh, unrepairable. So, so what we're gonna do is we'll pull that thing apart at some time. But in the meantime, I've gone ahead and dropped the 670 in here. So if you watch the short that I posted, couple days ago you will see that this thing did fire off um, so for the most part this thing pretty much dropped right in uh, parts interchange on it pretty good um, so we did have to switch over a couple of cooling hoses from the uh, the F chassis so that was pretty much expected but not that big of a deal pretty much uh, they fit right in uh, so right now just for the um, just for the test fire I do have the uh, the pipe on there from the 500 uh, just to kind of get it mocked up. And uh, so I know that pipe is not the right one, but again, it was just for testing purposes, just to make sure the electric start worked. We had uh, spark and everything else. So that pipe needs to be changed because uh, even though we have the original pipe from the F chassis, the layout on it doesn't work. So that cannot be put in. But everything else, it dropped right in. The CDI was pretty much the only thing electrical that we had to change as expected. The motor mounts were all the same, that pretty much dropped right in. So we got the electric start down there. That works fine. We got the carbs in there. So those are in there for mock-up. And the reason why they were in there for mock-up, I was testing the air boxes, uh, the original air box from the 500. Obviously, that won't fit because the spacing on the carbs is different, and the airbox from the F chassis is physically too tall. So, we're going to source out a pipe and an airbox, and we'll get those squared away. But it does run, it, ha it does have spark. The electric start works on it, which is good. So, a couple things that we need to do is we have to work on the alignment of the engine because when Skidoo made the F chassis and the S chassis, and again, those chassis are physically the same as far as the tunnel and the bulkhead the only thing that's really different is the plastics um when skidoo came out that chassis just like the the wedge they made it to accommodate a twin or a triple and because of that there is a ton of play in the, in the engine mounts so because of that unlike a wedge chassis um, you really just can't drop the engine and get you like 98 98 percent close on the alignment with the skidoos, you really need to get the alignment bar and figure out your center to center distance and everything else to get this thing set up correctly. So I did it real quick. And right now, when I look at it, it may not, it may not show up on camera, but the engine is actually rotated forward like that. So we gotta work on the alignment. So we'll work on that. And um, I also need to pull the clutch off because when I was uh, swip, uh, swapping everything over, I just threw it on there real quick. And for those of you who don't know, the TRA clutch actually comes apart in two different pieces. And what I mean by that is when you pull the bolt off and you put it in your clutch puller, this will actually separate in two different pieces from the, uh, the, uh, the non-movable sheave and it'll actually come out. So what you need to do is when you go to put these clutches back together, you have to align the two parts together. 
So if you look, right on the, uh, the, 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 uh, the front of the clutch, there's an arrow, and then there's a notch on the outside face of the, uh, of the, of the cover. So then it corresponds with another notch and another mark. I put that mark in there just to be a little bit easier to see. So when you reassemble them, basically these two marks need to be in line with each other because when Skidoo made these clutches, they balanced them as an assembly and they balanced them with the alignment done and then they took out a material. So uh, in my haste, I just slapped it on there real quick. And uh, so we got to realign them and make sure that the balance on it is good. But it's not that big of a deal to take it off because of the engine alignment and everything else. I got to take the clutch off to get the start off, to get access to the bolt. So everything is a process at this point. So, but for the most part, we're in pretty good shape. Um, if you looked at the test fire, um, what you will notice, we actually had a lot of blow by coming out of the, uh, the exhaust valves. And I'm pretty sure the reason why is there's no exhaust gaskets in here on either side. So what we're gonna do is in a separate video, I'm gonna pull these out and then uh, we're gonna uh, show you the process on what you need to do. And then I'll also have a video that's gonna work on the alignment of the engine to the secondary and everything else and show you what you need to do in the event that you're ever in a situation like this. So, right. I hope everybody is enjoying their summer. If there's any thoughts, questions, concerns, go and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.